Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash using your power. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Hi, thank you for joining us at Using Your Power. My name is Muveen Kora. And I'm David Anjouib. Hey, David, how are you doing? I'm powered up, man. How are you? I'm doing very well. So I guess today's topic is, why are you not succeeding? And we're not talking about you. We're just talking about <laughs> everybody in general. Exactly. So don't uh, you know think of this as, as being you know personalized or don't take it too personal if, if it doesn't apply to you. But certainly we all have different areas of life where we might just not be getting the, the results that we're looking for. So the first thing I had was just lack of education or information. You, you don't have enough information to go on yet to do the things that you want to be able to do. And I think study is a regular part of most entrepreneurs' lives or even high achievers, right? People that want to do more and be able to do more in life. Subscribe to magazines, buy books, make sure they have their their Kindle or Kobo or whatever it is that you read on on your e-reader. Regularly look at blogs or podcasts. There's a variety of ways to get that information, even in school or courses or events. The point being that you're getting that information somehow. Right. And I like the idea of being, you know, uh, getting the right information the way you can get that information. But there is something to be said about spending way too much time on social media. That could be definitely a one reason you're not succeeding because, you know, you're on there, you're just kind of uh, going back every maybe couple hours, maybe every hour and just seeing if somebody's liked your picture that you recently submitted to Instagram or something. You know, so if you're doing stuff like that, definitely quit it. Maybe start up a little schedule on when you should be checking, maybe checking the starting of the day. Once again, at the ending of the of the night or you know or have a you know a select time where you're going to do it where you can then interact with people that are following you or following your business but don't just keep checking it every day no that's very true and that's silly yeah (laughs) that's very true and it's something we've talked about before right spending all your life on social media is probably not the most productive way to spend it so i think that's a great point I think a lot of people suffer from this, and I do too at times, lack of boldness and courage, not taking action, not doing the things you need to do, not getting out of your comfort zone, not talking to the people that you need to talk to, not sending emails, whatever it is that you're not doing in that area. I think people, resources are the most important resources there are, and you want to be able to build connections and network and and be able to build those partnerships with even with people within your industry and possibly even without your industry and people who are not in that same space but like we've said before if you want to learn about spirituality talk to a pastor if you want to learn about money talk to an investor if you want to get into business talk to a business owner and those people are out there and many of them would be willing to share their time with you right on so kind of going along with that find the right people to talk to is you know you're gonna have to find the right people they're not in your home so you got to get off the couch get away from your tv and you know a lot of times people are spending six to eight hours not only on their tv but also on glued to their computer uh so you know get out there go network go find the right people to connect with like you're saying david uh you know not don't just find an investor which is you know an investment banker but go find somebody who's actually making millions of dollars by investing mm-hmm. and find that person to network with rather than somebody who's just trying to take your money and you know say we'll handle it for you from this point forward right so be in charge of your own money you'll definitely find more success. That's right. I mean, don't shotgun the whole thing. Talking to one person randomly is still better than talking to no one, but you want to be targeted in who you're talking to. So do your research, look on LinkedIn, personalize your approach, come to them with an idea of what you want to talk about with an agenda, and they'll appreciate that a lot more. And just get to the point, right? Busy people have things they need to do. A lot of people don't get to the point with me, and that's a big problem when they want to do guest posts or when they want to cut a business deal. Please just get to the point. Right on. And I do like what you said because that's my next point as well is associate with the right people you know don't associate with the wrong people in business uh you know sometimes we don't know who the right or wrong person is uh but as soon as you figure out if that is the right person keep associating if that person is really not helping your business or helping your agenda you know then cut yourself off as soon as you notice that it's not helping you out and that includes friends family and business partners as well because you know although it is very tough to maybe cut off your family it just doesn't mean you cut them out of your life it just means maybe you uh spend time with them a little bit differently than you're used to 
And I think there's a lot ton of people that are doing a lot, but not doing the right things and mistaking that for productivity. And I know that's the kind of mentality that's being pushed by some entrepreneurs who will go unnamed and great. You know, if you're going to hustle, hustle, do it, but like focus on the right things and you get better results every single time rather than just spreading your energies absolutely everywhere. So whether, you know, you're in a job or you're building a business or just in life in general, if, if, you know, you're doing too many things and you're running around like a headless chicken, then you're probably not, you know, focusing on the few things that are going to matter most. Right. And, you know, and that also goes with spending money too, right? So I know, I remember hearing, you know, if you want to know what's important to somebody, look at their checkbook Mm -hmm. as well as look at their bank account and you'll see exactly what's important to them. So, you know, if you're have a money spending problem, you know, get that in check. If you have a calendar scheduling problem, get that in check right if you can balance those two things you'll definitely see that your life and your business and all different aspects of what you want to do will obviously definitely improve and i think this ties in a lot which is just not having any clearly defined goals some people haven't thought about what it is they're trying to accomplish or where they're trying to go in their various efforts whether it's health by losing some weight or business by meeting certain targets or in their job by working towards a a promotion i mean some of those things are outside of your control but if you know what your goals are then you know what's steps you need to take. And so getting clear on those goals and then working backwards and what you can do daily to reach those goals is important. Absolutely. I know we did a whole episode on food choices a little while back. So yeah. uh, take a look at that one. And one of my points was on fitness as well. And I think the biggest thing uh, a lot of people aren't succeeding is because, uh, you know, the, the marketing that the, a lot of these companies do is uh, very well done. They make you believe that, you know, whatever you're about to buy is going to be great tasting. It's going to, you know, fulfill your all your needs. It's maybe only 100 calories. But if, if you don't really understand food labels and um, what that impact on your body is going to look like, it might be only 90 calories, but it might be all sugar, right? So you have to really look at and understand what you're about to consume and does that work towards what your you know your uh, health objective is or not right so if it doesn't read the food labels really understand it and if it's something that you can make at home I know we were talking about this my wife makes kimchi at home and stuff because she understands that there's a lot of preservatives in there and says hey you know what why don't I just make this at home because it's a lot easier and it's it's fun to do and uh, it's going to be healthy in the end and we get to control exactly what we put into our own bodies that's something I'm looking at more, right? Because I had a friend who was like, if anything contains more than a gram of sugar per serving, then it's probably way more sugar than you need. So that's something that I'm beginning to look into. Is my diet perfect? No, but I'm working on it and I think I'm getting better at it. I think this ties in nicely with what you just said to Mav, which is this whole idea of you know New Year's resolutions. We already talked about getting back to your 2017 goals. So have a listen to that episode as well. But people just give up too easily or they don't take enough ownership over what it is that they want and the goals that they're trying to achieve. So I think that's a one reason why many, 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 many people just don't get to where they are because they, they give up, they stop trying, they don't go after it and, and they forget that it was important to them and they don't remember why it was important to them. Exactly. And, you know, I believe it was on April 3rd or so, uh, I actually put out a, an article on Discover Your Life today and it talks about uh, cleaning out your pantry and getting better at meal prep. So go take a look at that article as well. It'll definitely give you some more information. Nice. If you're looking to get away from eating junk food and, and uh, you know, really clean up your diet, you know, like we talked about earlier, is you can start your New Year's resolution any day, any time you want. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have to start on January 1st, no. you know, April 15th could be your January 1st, right? It just means start, reset your goal and go for it again, right? Well, I know so many people, I see some friends on Facebook post about this, like, oh yeah, I'm going to get my 2017 goals done and it's April. And I say, good for you, man, because you're starting whenever, it, you know, you're starting at the right time for you. You're not starting when everyone else is, is starting and hopefully they, they keep started, right? They keep going. And that's kind of the thing that, that I want to see most is, you know, follow through on that commitment. I definitely applaud you for starting when you're starting, but keep going absolutely you know and that's a great piece of advice that you gave your friend and you know i think um my my biggest thing as i'd say to people is you know if you're not succeeding or you feel like you're not succeeding find out why you know sit down with yourself really take a look at what you're doing with your day what you're doing with your time who are you hanging out with you know what where are you spending your money where are you spending your time uh you know do you need to learn something new do you need to get some new hobbies do you need to get some new friends do you need to you know learn new things you know is the is the job you're working at for example going online but you're really hesitant and you don't want to go online you know look at all those things and say hey how can i improve myself so i can keep up with the future before you get left behind you know and i think when we do that we'll be able to be more successful as well 
I know that Mav pushes me to be better and I push him to be better in some ways too. And, I, and if you look at his weekly hustle on discover your life today, I think you'll see that, you know, he's tracking, he's, he's showing you what he's doing and you can do it too. It's not stuff that anybody else couldn't do. Right. But you got to start small. You got to start with something. You know, if Mav is reading 18 articles per day, start with one and work your way up to that 18, 18 a week, 18 a day would be pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're not reading that much, but I, I guess my point being that you're tracking it and you're showing people what's possible. Absolutely. Right. And that's all it is. It's about tracking your results and then, you know, finding that success. Right. I know if I can read, say, 20 pages this week, yeah, I'm going to try for 21 or 23 or maybe 30 pages next week. Right. And just going to keep building on my prior week success. Am I always going to read that exact amount of pages? Am I always going to, you know, surpass that number? I may or may not. Right. I know when I was doing meditation, I've missed uh, I missed three days in a row, but then I have started again. Right. So I think the first time I did it, I did 88 days in a row and now I'm back on track to being at day eight or nine again, right? So, I mean, yeah, I missed three days of uh, this year already, but that's okay. I'm not hurting myself. I just said, hey, now I have a goal to beat. I got to get over 88 days straight, right? So going on vacation here and I'm still going to meditate while I'm on vacation and, you know, and and I got to see if I can really make that a part of my daily schedule or is it just something I'm excited to do at home, but nowhere else, right? And and if I find that, you know, for me to succeed, I have to be able to do it anywhere and everywhere, not just in the comforts of my own home. I think tracking is something that, you know, I want to get better to as well. And, uh, you know, I don't feel like I'm getting as many books read as I, as I have in the last two years, but I also have to be honest with myself and look at what it is that I'm, that I'm consuming, right? Am I actually consuming just as much information, but just from different sources than before? And if that's the case that I'm still growing and I'm still learning and I'm still developing, so that's okay. But if I am consuming less information, I have to look at why that is. And if that's okay for where I want to go right now. Absolutely. And, you know, and one of the things we've talked about is bulk tax, uh, taxing, tasking, tasking. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll get that word out. Taxing is just, you know, it's tax season. So it's all that's, you know, it's <laughs> that's on my true. mind right now. Um, but, you know, but we talked about uh, bulking all your actions together and that's exactly what we have found really works for us when we are working, right? So when we're writing articles, we try to write as many articles at the same time. If we're going to go for a walk, we try to go for a little bit longer walk versus shorter walks, right? Just kind of do everything at the same time, right? I know it's better to walk maybe 30 minutes a day versus, you know, all the 210 minutes all in in one day, right? I I understand that for sure. So there's certain things that you should and shouldn't do. But, you know, as much as things that you can do, like checking email, for example, if you do that all at the starting of your day or at the ending of the day or in the middle of your day, but do it all at the same time versus checking them as one at a time as they come in, right? It can take you off your game plan and and really cause you to get off track during the whole day. And you, you may still feel like you've accomplished a lot, but you know if you bulk the, the, um, the activities, you'll find that you're probably getting a lot more done and you'll probably be done at the end of the day, let's say at three o'clock, where now you have two hours to work, let's say on a nine to five job, uh, you can use the additional two hours to maybe go do something else, go learn, go research, and find different ways to build yourself and your, bis- and your business. I've had seasons of, of different ways of uh, trying different approaches with work, and that still continues. But you're right. I think when you do bulk tasks like that, and you're, you set your life up to be able to do that, you get ahead of the work that you need to do, and you can get it done sooner. And I think at the same thing with the job, if you know pr- pretty Pretty much predictably what's going to happen in your job every week and you know that you're going to have to do certain tasks i mean you could kind of have it all done monday tuesday with most jobs if you were efficient some jobs require more of you and a little more direct involvement but some of them do not and so you could have everything done in the first part of your week and then you could get on with you know personal growth or building systems or helping your boss or whatever else you want to do for sure. And, you know, for anybody listening to you as well, you know, if you feel like you're not succeeding on your with your online business, one of the things you can definitely do is uh, keep an eye out on our business series that we have coming out here shortly. There's a six year, uh, six uh, ebook set series or however you want to call it. Yeah, basically an audio course with an ebook. Right on. So that's exactly what it is. He's, David definitely a lot better at explaining what it is in simpler <laughs> terms. Um, but yeah, so watch out for that. We do have also a, a little bonus that we'll give away with uh, if you complete our survey. So if you feel like you're not succeeding with your online business, keep an eye on with that because we are definitely here to help you with that as well. Yes, absolutely. Well, feel free to leave a comment on our website as well. You can go to usingyourpower.com and leave a comment there or on YouTube, or you can also connect with us via Facebook Messenger. You can also download our free audio course while you're on your on our website, 10 Simple Ways to Unleash Your Personal Power. You can find us iTunes, Stitcher, pretty much everywhere where podcasts are heard. Anything else, ma'am? No, I'm not sure if we're on Google Play, but if we're not on Google Play, let's get on there as well. I think we are on Google Play oh, too. Wonderful. So. Check us out on Google Play too. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. 